Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another Daily Dose of Dismal Disney, I think. Yes. We're going to talk about the MCU. We're going to talk about Captain America 4 with less Steve Rogers. And we're going to talk about how they're going to reset the MCU with all new characters and new beliefs. And then we're going to talk about the uh, popcorn bucket coming for Deadpool, which it's going to be glorious. Yeah, we're going to talk about that because I think one of these movies is going to make significantly more money than the other. So I think it's it's going to be pretty obvious that Deadpool and Wolverine is going to be the biggest MCU movie for quite some time. This mm -hmm. one did get pushed back again mm -hmm. to the middle of February next year. Mm -hmm. And I, I can guess why it's February mm -hmm. yeah, of next year. Yeah, certain history month that means, I'm just yeah. saying. Uh, you know, but uh, that being said, I don't I don't know how this is going to do. I don't have anything against Anthony Mackie. I really don't. I know some people were slamming him on social media now because somebody wanted an autograph at a gas station and he wouldn't give it to her. Or something. Even, like, I guess he was being kind of rude, but, you know, uh, but I'm sure he's tired, tired of being harassed. I'm sure they said that he does that all the time. So, yeah. So he just doesn't want to doesn't want to give out. autographs. So that's that's fine. But but that being said, the Falcon, the Winter Soldier was not that big of a hit no it wasn't even that good honestly i'm not gonna lie it was boring and how, don't how you worry it... they're not gonna i don't think the winter soldier is gonna be in this they're giving him a new friend captain america is not having bucky he's having a new friend who was his like you know his, one of his he was commanding officer of this person and he's a tech guy and that's his new sidekick because you know we can't have bucky in there that's the old captain's sidekick well the, the thing is is that people watch this for for bucky they watch the falcon the winter soldier for bucky right um they did sorry but yeah, it was weird. It was like it was like they're trying to prepare the public for a future with Captain America without Captain America, and uh, it didn't do very well. They did not get a season two, and it feels like this movie is basically going to repeat the mistakes that the Marvels made, where it's going to be a Disney Plus movie. Yeah, basically, now they say they're going to go with a political intrigue angle, which is like I'm how, sure how they did with the Winter Soldier. Um, yeah. but so, I mean, that's not, I don't, I don't disagree with that. And you also have to remember too, like he doesn't have the superpowers and the superhero, super serum that, you know, other Captain America has Steve Rogers had. Yeah. And everybody keeps trying to argue that he's, he's Captain America. I'm like, no, it's Falcon. Falcon's been around for years. Falcon is his own character and he was briefly Captain America in the comics more recently, but like, and I guess if somebody's going to pick up the shield, it probably should be Sam, but I'm like, I just, I, I just don't think audiences are going to go for it. I'm sorry. You know, you don't take Robin and make Robin Batman and then get angry when people don't come to the movie because it's, yeah, you know, Robin. Robin. It'd be the same. I'd, say, I'd argue the same with Bucky too, you know? Yeah. Same with Bucky. Like if you call it Winter Soldier, you call it Falcon. You know, why not get like a team of bird themed superheroes together? You could have like Falcon and friends. You know, super bird bros or something. Well, they already did know. that. It was called Birds of Prey. Birds of the, Prey. What, the fantastic emancipation of one Har Harley Quinn. Was that what the emancipation? Well, you can't, I don't remember. Yeah, the you can't use, you can't use emancipation. Uh, Birds of Prey. Oh, yes, you can't. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Though. Yes. Yeah. It, it's just, uh, this is not going to do well. And it's already had so many reshoots. It's just. I think it's a disaster in the But making. they're already starting to promote it now because I yes. think they know they have to start because they haven't been doing anything. And now all this news is coming out. Oh, Winter Soldier, Cap or not Winter Soldier, I'm sorry. Captain America, Brave New World. Oh, my God, all this stuff. We're just going to shit this all out. It's all at CinemaCon, even though we're not putting the movie out till next year. Yeah, that's weird because you, th well, I guess it would be. It would be coming out before next That's year's That's true, but I'm just saying, it's just... But Disney's got, like, nothing. Like, they didn't have... They had their presentation. I saw the the uh, poster for it. And they had Deadpool front and center in the middle. And then they had Captain America, like, off to the side. And they had, like, Mufasa. And they yeah, had I did. Moana 2. And I noticed one thing about Moana 2. They got rid of her midriff. Did they? Yes. I didn't even pay attention to it. Yes, they covered her up more. They well, covered her knees up, They had up Dwayne too. Johnson up on stage talking about how he reminded him of his grandpa or something. And then they had um, Inside Out 2... On there, and they're talking about it being about puberty. So I hope this isn't, you know, outside in. I, I'm just hoping it's not um, turning red all over again. And then um, they had the, some new movie from da <laughs> from uh, some new movie from Daisy Ridley about a swimmer. Uh, okay, um, <laughs> this is a joke in there. <laughs> Got swimmers. <laughs> I was just thinking, like one of the Skywalker. new one of the new emotions is going to be menstruation. It's going to be PMS. I'm PMS. <laughs> and who would play PMS? I don't know. Me. <laughs> you get to play PMS. You always know. I need chocolate. 
<laughs> he, he always knows. He knows. I do know. We've been married a long time. He also knows what pregnant for I do. I did know both times. I knew. I knew You're you like, were pregnant. Oh I'm my like, God, she's horrible. It's like, oh, this is like PMS times 10. Oh, I think I know what's happening. A little turned, miracle. Turned the M to monster. PMS. Little, little miracles going on. Anyway, let's uh, talk about this. It's going to be a little miracle if this movie does as well as the other Captain America movies. And I, I again, I, it feels like this phase of Marvel is just like Disney plus the series. And I feel like they're making the same mistake. I, I do believe that Deadpool and Wolverine is going to make a lot of money. But I feel like they're making the same mistake. Like, yes, well, first you watch two seasons of Loki. And then you come over here and watch the Deadpool movie with Wolverine. Yeah, they're they're trying to tie everything together too much. They're synergizing everything. But yeah, and they're basically bringing him in to reset the Avengers. Oh God, nobody wants nobody wants this. Uh, just snap the whole damn thing. Start over in ten years. But I thought they were gonna walk that kind of crap back. Oh, I guess not. It's coming from Bounding in the comics. Marvel star Anthony Mackie says, I love their headlines. They, they, they get everything in there. Uh, Marvel star Anthony Mackie says, Captain America Brave New World will serve as a clear reset for the MCU. It's a new storyline with new characters with new beliefs. Um, I don't think anybody wants that. <laughs> I don't think they want uh, a reset with new beliefs. Well, it's gonna, you're, you're going to have to understand, too, though. Like, like I said, if he's going to be Captain America, his, this character... It's going to be a different Captain America no matter what because he doesn't have the super serum. So I'm like, he'd be a lot easier to kill, but, you know. So he's Batman versus Superman, basically. Basically. If Batman became Superman. Yeah, and and and, and then he's being, the, you know, they have uh, Thunderbolt th Ross is there now. He's Harrison Ford because, you know, the other person passed away. Yeah. And he's going to task him with uh, reassembling the Avengers. And yeah. while he's telling about it, someone plays music and he's, they try to kill him. Yeah. So um, it sounds like like Manchurian Candidate or something going on here. But it said they're going to do a grounded. Now, this this is kind of hopeful. They said they're going to do a more grounded espionage action movie. Yeah, more like Winter Soldier. Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to aliens and airplanes coming through portals and shit. Even though I've been so many of them and I've seen all the opportunity for Sam to really establish himself as a true action star in Avenger comes with this movie. Um, yes, Falcon was an Avenger. <laughs> Further, Mackie would assert that not only would Brave New World represent a scaling back of the Captain America series scope, huh, huh, but also mark the start of a new creative direction for the overall MCU. Cheaper? Okay, we need another creative a direction for the MCU. Cheaper direction? I mean, do we need another direction? Every time you've had a new creative direction, you done fucked it up. So we're going from the MCU to this. Yeah, the movie is a clear reset. It really establishes the idea of what this universe is and what this universe is going to be. I think with these movies, you're getting a clear new branding of what Marvel is headed toward in the same way that they did with Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Well, I don't know how that's going to work out for them. I'm going to be honest. I, I think that like... Where it's heading? You mean the Thunderbolts with an asterisk? Yeah. You mean, you know, yeah. other stuff, you know, they have well, all this like Iron Heart still supposed to be doing, coming out, and all this other stuff. Yeah, let's 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 go that uh, way. Uh, it sounds to me like they're headed in a, a more grounded, cheaper direction. Oh, yeah, because like, it's really expensive to have all that stuff come in. Yeah, so they're, so I wonder if they'll like, you know, snap the MCU with Secret Wars and then just be like, yep, yeah, from now on, it's just uh, small stories taking place in the real world, limited CGI. We're not going to go these. I mean, it's it's been cool. The one thing I will say about the, the later MCU movies, especially like Doctor Strange and, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy and Infinity War, it was kind of cool to see Cosmic Marvel. Because Cosmic Marvel has been something that uh, until recently you could not portray in film. So all the movies were like, you know, the more grounded heroes. But that being said, like, you know, look at where it started with Iron Man and then just like how bonkers ridiculous it's gotten. Yeah, and he needs to go back to the to the grounded. I'm not disagreeing with him on that. You, you can't relate to characters when there are no stakes because like anything's possible. Anybody can come back except for, you know. Black, Black Widow. Widow, she can't come back. Yeah, for whatever know. reason. For whatever reason. Um, the, the title implies there's a new, bigger enemy now. There's a new frontier of course, that we have to conquer. It's not a Death Star. It's, it's a Star Killer base. <laughs> it's racism and prejudice. It's bigger than Thanos. Thanos killed everybody equally. Well, that's racist. 
Uh, it was a 50-50 split. You didn't know who was going to die. Uh, from Captain America to Endgame, the enemy was always good versus bad. Now that we've conquered that, where do we go from here? Why you conquered that? Okay. When the bad guys reappear, in what form are they reappearing? It's a new storyline with new characters, with new beliefs, and it creates a new idea of this new world we're going into. Boy. Uh, America is the bad guy. I'm calling it now. Well, America kind of, parts of America kind of were in the other Captain America movies too, but I'm thinking it's like, I don't know. Um... I don't think it's going to do well. I'm, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be completely upfront with it. And that, again, that's not to, to diss uh, Anthony Mackie at all, but people want Steve Rogers. They want Chris Evans. And that's what people think of when they think of Captain America. And at or least, if it was even recast, but it would still be just Captain America. Steve Rogers character. Yeah. yeah Cause you can, re I mean, they recast Peter Parker how many times, you know, you, you can do it. Um, I just, I don't think it's going to work. Cause for me, this just feels like, yeah, they didn't get a season two of Falcon, the winter soldier. This feels like season two right. of Falcon, the winter well, he's soldier. He's claiming that's not what it is. There was another interview and, and people asked him that and he said, Oh no, it's not like that. It's far. Well, maybe it's not bad. now they reshot how much of it. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, that's, that was the problem with the Marvels is basically season two of Ms. Marvel. Pretty you know? much. And the problem with Dr. Strange is it was season two of WandaVision. And, yeah, that's you know, not true. They keep they're trying so hard to make I think Disney Plus that they're just ruining everything. Yeah, and it's like you know, and I think they were thinking they were going to have it was going to work like actual you know comic books when they did these big crossover events back in the day during the heyday. The comic books were like a buck or two, right? Now they're like freaking five dollars each. But you you could get everything leading up into Secret Wars or Infinity Gauntlet or whatever pretty reasonably. But now they're like, oh yeah, now you got to watch like. Freaking 80 hours of television to get ready for this two hour movie. And then you got to watch everything. And that's what they're trying to do. It's basically every Marvel product is a commercial for the next Marvel product. And people are noping out. They're like, we can't. Plus it's subpar. I mean, that doesn't, doesn't really freaking help. So I don't think we're going to get a, uh, a racy popcorn bucket for this movie. Or for the Captain America movie. Yeah. No, but we're getting it for Deadpool. I, I'm really, really, really curious how they're going to do this and what they're going to do. And it's Disney doing it, but they saw what happened with the Dune 2 bucket and how crazy that was. Yeah, I don't like the sandworms in Dune 2. I, I like the original sandworms better, the David Lynch. Actually, I like the visuals people of the like David the Lynch. People like the sandworm popcorn bucket, though. Some people might have liked it too much. Yeah, uh, Although I'm it's sure bristled, I... Mm, you might want to well, layer... it's soft, so it's not... It's, soft bristles. It's not like, like, like hard bristles. It's just, they're it's soft. It's like fur. It's like they're a furry tickle. hole. They tickle. Yeah, it's like one of those balls that you see that have like you squeeze them and then they have all the little like little tentacles on it. <laughs> oh it's like my tentacles. god! It's tentacles. There you go. Oh my yeah. god! It's a a hole full of tentacles. Some people really would like that, but yeah, they're saying they're going to do something worse with uh, Deadpool. They're going to have like his hamburger face with his mouth open or something. I don't know. They said that they're letting they're letting him the character design it. So ah, uh, Marvel's playing the ultimate meta gag for the three quill similar release, a deliberately questionable popcorn bucket. They'll rival this year's Dune to butthole, butthole. <laughs> butthole looking monstrosity. Deadpool Wolverine is getting a, a popcorn bucket, which will intentionally be crude and lewd. While some are unintentionally gross, this one will be intentionally gross. Well, there you yeah, go, guys. Foggy thought he was all cool because he got he got up there talking about Deadpool and he's like saying fuck and he's like, I can say it now because it's rated R. <laughs> they're gonna say it in, like, you're such a dork. They're gonna say <laughs> it in Ninja Turtles too. Yeah, apparently the turtles, there's gonna be a whole lot of fucking going on and in... wait, what? No, I don't know if there is. But... I was like, that's a completely yeah. different movie. So they're doing the, the last Ronin, I guess, Ninja Turtles. Yeah, and it's gonna be a hard R, which but I thought it was more for violence. Pro I I I God, I hope so. I don't want to see Ninja Turtles having sex. Do you want to see Ninja Turtles having sex? No one said that. I thought it was just violence. I think it's just violence, but they might Why drop the... Why is that your first thought? <laughs> Kawa fucking bunga, motherfucker. Oh, my, oh my God. God. That that actually would be kind of... Kind of <laughs> Kawa bunghole. Oh my, oh, my God. Just be... Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Popcorn so, buckets. No, the popcorn bucket thing is crazy because that, that came from the theme parks. That came from Disney. No, I know, but like they're doing all these popcorn buckets for theatrical releases. They has had some cool ones in the past, but then the one for Dune was a, a complete, um, it was an unintentional situation that ended up being huge. Um, what? Take that how you will. 
<laughs> well, it started out with this unintentional situation, and then it wound up getting huge, and, and then it went Disney in. Saw that, and it went in like, the hole full yeah, of tickly tentacles. Yeah, Disney and, wants to out out porn the popcorn bucket. Um, so that's gonna that actually is gonna get interesting and totally off brand, but very interesting. Well, if it's well, just it's showgirls, so. Uh, what if it's just a big dick and balls with a Deadpool mask on it? <laughs> oh no. Or it's him sitting there with his, when he, when his lower half was growing back and he had a tiny penis. Oh, my God. I, I know that they're, they're going to have to have limits because they're going to be in a theater and people are going to come for other movies and they're going to see that. And they're going to be kids. And are they going to have an age limit for how old you can be to buy it? Okay, so kids are going to – here's the thing. Kids are totally going to go see Deadpool and Wolverine. The parents are going to take them to go see Deadpool and Wolverine. You know this, right? Oh, I like, know. Like I went to, I still remember uh, when I was, God, I don't remember how old I was when I came out, Teen, late teens, I went to go see Starship Troopers and somebody left a couple of like 10 year olds there and we went to the midnight showing. Why I, would you take 10 year olds to the midnight? I don't know. It was a different time, people. Yeah. We went to the midnight showing. I went with my cousin and we went to the midnight showing because I wanted to see it because it was the guy who did RoboCop, right? And I love RoboCop. Love RoboCop. So... Yeah, the front row, there was like five or six giggling 10-year-olds. Oh, God. And somebody dropped off at like Thursday night How at midnight. How did they get in? Like, you, you give up. The parents bought the tickets probably and then just gave them to the, or snuck the kids in or something. But they dropped the kids off. The kids were there by, now this was the 90s, but these kids were there by themselves. And they're like giggling, like, hee, hee, boobies. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> we're like, you know, you wonder why, you know. People from the 80s and 90s are more badass, 70s, 80s, 90s, because we, you know, that's what happened. They just left us in theaters and said, here you go. Well, my parents didn't, but I, I was, were. <laughs> I was left in a theater when I was like four years old. I remember it was Bambi. My mom dropped me off in theater and she went out to lunch with her friend and she like dropped me off at the theater with this kid, this other kid. And we watched Bambi. And then, uh, which probably isn't good when you're that young and your mom drops you off to see Bambi because then Bambi's mom dies. <laughs> His mom dies. <laughs> Then she promised you an action figure, and you know. I do got remember it. that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Did. I've heard about it okay. several times. But uh, yeah, she's like, "Well, if you're good and you stay here, I'll get you a Star Wars figure." And she forgot the, forgot the Star Wars. She figure. forgot. Quote. That's okay. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't think it's gonna. Man, this is really went off the rails. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna make bank. I don't think it's gonna. Well, do that maybe well. they'll surprise us. Maybe they they, they they reshoot the payoff. They're already starting now, so I think they're gonna push marketing hard on this one. Not as hard as Deadpool. Not as hard as Deadpool. All right, we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe. We'll talk later. I wonder if Deadpool Bucket will have a vibrating feature. Oh, my God. That'd be funny. <laughs>